Hey guys, um, I wanted to do a video on the snowcat. <clears throat> I made a video previously. I don't know um, how much I should say about the snowcat, but this is my first GI Joe vehicle, so it's very special to me. Um, <clears throat> it comes with frostbite. I lost my frostbite in the snow a long time ago. I think I actually found him, but I then lost him again. <laughs> but anyway, um, <clears throat> this vehicle has been through a lot. <clears throat> it's really special to me. But uh, because of uh, size constraints in Japan, because my storage space is so small, and I don't really have my own room anymore <clears throat> in our new apartment. And with having a child, I decided I'm going to get rid of my snowcat. But uh, I I planned on getting this new snowcat, <coughs> which I did buy. <clears throat> the new snowcat does have a lot of drawbacks. It does have this camo theme instead of the, the flat white, which I do like better. The, the original snowcat will always be the most special to me. But uh, I had to make a decision at the end of just last year. <clears throat> so just a little while before Christmas, I decided I would spend maybe, geez, what is it? Probably $40 or $45 with shipping to get some original stickers for the snowcat. So I bought these. <clears throat> this is what's left of them after trimming them up a little bit but I bought these on eBay <clears throat> and I decided to make the new snowcat look like the old snowcat as far as stickers and the original snowcat <clears throat> my my awesome big sister uh, she put the stickers on for me when it was I suppose Christmas Day <clears throat> when I was a kid but uh, I put the stickers on this time by myself, so it does have more stickers than my original one had. I think some of them were, were very vague in the instructions, so it was too hard to tell where they go. But uh, I don't know how many other people out there have done this, but I thought I would post it because it might be a bit unique. So this is the, the new version of the Snowcat, but with the old original stickers. So 1985 Snowcat stickers with 2000, geez, I want to say 2003, 2000, 2002, the 2002 release of the Snowcat. So adding the, the original style stickers has, has done a lot to improve the design. When I bought this one, I actually got this Snowcat for me my own present Christmas before last so a, about a year ago <clears throat> last Christmas was only like six days ago so but um this one this one I never put the stickers on because the stickers really looked kind of like garbage they were actually like a all white background so they would they would probably look faded almost immediately and the white didn't really balance, didn't match the, the white of this vehicle's plastic. So I'm very glad I waited with these stickers because I'm an adult and because I have a little more control over how well I can do it. I spent a lot of time to put them on very carefully. <clears throat> I researched as, as well as I could to find out what were the correct spots were. The, the instructions were vague, but I do think I have them all in the right spot. One of the problems with this snowcat is in addition to the color change, the missile box is different. <clears throat> while, while it's better because it doesn't break as easy as the, the old one, the missiles are this it's kind of like a <clears throat> typical design. The original Snowcat had really innovative missile design where they slid into the box, though the box basically had very, very minimal underside, but they they held in there well. 
this one is not near as good and the, the color is different, but I'm still considering making some changes to this, but for now it, it will be this blue one. And another problem is the, the Snowcat's original missiles. That is the famous, let's see if I can put it on here, the famous snow snow pedos or snow torpedoes or snow missiles these guys i i put on the new sticker but <clears throat> it fits kind of loose i put these stickers on too i i lost the originals a long time ago as a kid but um these guys uh do not fit on this new vehicle <clears throat> the the people who designed this made it to fit with this giant monstrosity of a gun I'll try I'll try to show you what I'm talking about here <clears throat> it's got this giant electronic electronic box on the back and it's supposed to port in on the back and then hook up to this giant gun <laughs> which really doesn't match the atmosphere of the vehicle and it really doesn't go with a lot of the the original looks so I just don't like it. It also has this goofy spring-loaded missile launcher which sticks on here but that's easy to fix just don't put it on and it, this peg is barely noticeable but uh, I think what I'm gonna do I don't have a Dremel, but I would love to get a Dremel and I'd love to to file these down. I don't know if you can see it, but they raised these these tabs that support the missile supports. They raised these tabs up to be flush with the top of the missile tab. So when you use this, you just can't place it on. It is the same size as the original, but uh, these little struts that run all the way up this time, they vary from the original. Here's a look at the original. You can see here. <clears throat> so I'm still deciding how to, to solve that problem. One, one easy solution could be to to simply put some putty and just mount it on there. I, th I think it sits high, but it doesn't sit too high to look awkward. So, and it, it does work with the turret still, the missile turret on top. <clears throat> but anyway, I just wanted to show this uh, version of the snowcat. Got iceberg in there. And also, very special thing for me, <clears throat> I ordered, in addition to the stickers, an original snowcat driver, still sealed. <laughs> so this I will open. Um, where are the scissors? <laughs> I'm going to open it, maybe without scissors, I just got to be careful not to damage anything. I wanted to buy this guy for a long time, but I didn't want to spend the money. There he is, the snowcat driver. Frostbite! Yes! <laughs> this is awesome. This is literally my first G.I. Joe figure. He may need his, his O-ring change, but wow, he's pretty stiff. He's really stiff. Mm. It's kind of spooky in this, this cold room in my Japanese apartment. I don't want him to break in any way. <laughs> but he, he does appear to have a little bit of mold on him. He was sealed in that bag without any holes. But I think that mold is very easy to clean up. And there is his gun. Wow, uh, this is awesome to have. 
finally we've got our original frostbite back. I'll put this guy in here. <clears throat> there he is. <laughs> As a kid, I really wanted an iceberg because I really wanted another snow trooper. My brother got blizzard, so that worked really well back in the day. But it is so cool to, to finally have these guys together. So, okay. I hope everyone out there had a very Merry Christmas. Um, I hope that you can join me again for some more videos. I'll put these guys in here. I gotta put them, put them in proper. There we go. <clears throat> Okay, it's time to roll out.